Welcome back everybody to the first ever You People podcast. Man. I am your host, Eli. What's going on? I do have Mr. Keith Ledger sitting right there. Let me show me. I'm talking about a lot of things going on in this world today. And um, of course, we're going to get some opinions. So uh, the synopsis of the show is to pretty much throw some stuff out there, rapid fire, and we're going to give our opinions on it, whether it's fuck shit or whether it's politics, all right? Political fuck shit, too. A lot of <laughs> fuck shit going on in this goddamn world. Oh, my God. But the first thing I definitely want to talk about, y'all, is motherfucking Donald Trump. What the fuck is wrong with this old white man? I guess I just, between, as, as a white man, between his Nazi picks and fucking the <coughs> boss who just got sworn in yesterday or just got voted in yesterday yeah. by the Senate. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that noise. I, I can't stand any of the shit he's doing, and it's entirely bullshit. So you're the only fucking white guy that didn't vote for Donald Trump. Right? Fucking apparently. I'm proud of you, man. It's happening. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I've been fighting, man. I was out there for Bernie. I was out there protesting Trump. All that bullshit. Wow, man. I'm freaking proud of you. Listen, man. You're down Someone's for gotta be. Listen, you're yes. technically a white man. I mean, I'm technically a black man. Forgive me. You are black man. I've actually heard that before. Uh, I'm I'm uh, invited to any uh, outdoor barbecue that involves pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, black people don't eat pork, bro. I don't know about you. I don't eat that goddamn. What, 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 what was I was I invited to then? Oh uh, fucking no. Fucking <laughs> some. Some porch nigger from the fucking world. Well, I'm going anyway. Good for you, man. All that fuck shit. So listen, do you say nigger or do you say the N word? What do you do? I'm from New York, man. Oh, man. Ah! Listen, man. Listen, don't be scared, all right? There's about a million black people back there. They don't see, all right? But let's just say, man. I mean, I'm views in a room full is, of black people. Now, this right is totally there. anonymous, right? This is totally live on fucking air, bro. This is going to be all over the fucking place. So are you going to be that white guy to be like, hey, I don't know, the N word? That's it's just, I'm offended. Listen, well, I, I like nigga all day long. Goddamn nigga, fuck shit, all I, that shit. I, I stopped saying negro a couple of years ago. Oh, I, I, I got a lot of hate for that. That's like, worse I got a lot That's of like saying yeah, color. Yeah, yeah. Like, look at this uh, color yeah. guy yeah. over here. Dar- Darky didn't work either, so oh, I've, I've yeah, just... Yeah, man, that's I've, an ass whooper. I've, 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 I don't know about I've you, just, but that's an ass I just suck with nigga for, for New York. No, or, you can say it wrong. That's like saying... Yeah, you say it right. Nigga, yeah, you gotta put some swag behind it, Go ahead. Come on, my nigga. Go say it, say it. Nigga? Yeah, man, I don't know about this bullshit. Listen, man, we're going to teach you. I, I got all night. Let's go. We got all night to say this motherfucking I, I, word, nigga. Well, this we got, we got now, right? right? Yeah, look at this shit. You goals. got niggas dying in the background. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. He's like, nigga, it's like saying, it's like when a news reporter say two-pack. What the fuck is a two-pack? <laughs> this is my radio voice. What do you want from me? This is terrible. You got to work on this shit, man. Be natural. We, we got time. We got time. Thank God, man. And then we have Shermaine. Shermaine, well, what do you think of this Donald Trump traveling ban shit that he's doing in all these Muslim countries, man? What do you think about that? I just find it interesting that the ones that he banned are the ones who haven't done anything. Okay. You know what I mean? And the ones that he should have banned are the ones that he, he's in business with. So, Explain. Well, what parts of the, the country he's in business with, the ones that actually did? Shit, the ones who fucking bombed our asses and blew our buildings up. So where they're from? Forgive me. I, I'm trying to get the... Uh, I'm not fucking fact-checking here. This ain't this type of podcast where we fact-check. Oh, it's not my <laughs> oh, but um, where is it? Is it Saudi? Saudi Arabia, is it? Is that Saudi? Saudi Arabia, is it? If I'm not mistaken, fucking uh, the but, Saddam? Yes. Saddam Hussein? Saddam. That yes. motherfucker has shit to do with shit. We just wanted some goddamn oil. That's all we wanted. Let's be honest, man. We just wanted some goddamn oil. He didn't have shit to do with anything. Fucking George W. Bush don't even know his fucking ass from his elbow. Don't want you. We're gonna get them, and they did it. What's well, going on? Shame on you. Well, twice. Let, let's yeah, narrow it down. Twice. <laughs> the, 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 the targeted countries were Iraq, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen. All right, so who of all those countries, mm-hmm. not a single one has produced terrorists. Exactly. Somalia, what is that, like, in Africa, right? I still got my stuff right. right, right. Yeah, Forgive so, me, y'all. So definitely. So it looks like he, he, he definitely banned someone that had nothing to do with anything. And um, I don't know, man. I think that, let me be honest with this shit here, man. And I'm sorry for every fucking black person out there, but I don't give a fuck. It's my opinion, right? So listen, all these fucking people out there, I think Donald Trump is kind of doing the right guy. Okay? I think... Mm. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Can you fucking walk into North Korea right now as a fucking American without getting arrested? I'm just saying. Can you? No, I fucking doubt it. Can you get in there? Exactly. 
that's the point. So why, when we put limitations... Do we really want to be compared to North Korea? Listen to him, yeah. Do we North, really want North to be Korea compared got to fucking to nukes and they can worse. kill our ass too. That's Last time I right. said. They can't even right. nukes that reach Japan. Never mind yeah, the United yeah, States. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's still a fucking strong they're fucking a, army. They're a dictatorship. That's they're, they're, they're not strong. If you look at what's actually going on there, they're not strong at all. Listen, man, I don't know about you, you gotta, but they are definitely... You, if you got a fucking idea if America thinks it's the strongest fucking country in the world, you are saying mistake, my brother. China's on the way up, North Korea's Oh, I'm not saying we're the strongest, but are we stronger than Russia, China? Russia, too, are, are we stronger than North ass. Korea? Of course we are. I don't know, we're man. We're a ton stronger than I, North I know Korea. we are. Listen, let's be honest. We are. But I'm just saying, as Americans, right the fuck now, can we go into North Korea? No. There's no yeah, we can. There are people who go in there. Journalists yeah, and everything. Man, journalists. You have to be a journalist. And you well, have... Let's say me and you right now get on a goddamn plane to North Korea. You got that Umwon yeah, fat, whatever the, the fuck his name is. Yum 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 Taco. Whatever the fuck his name is saying, hey, you American, get the fuck out. Well, I'm sorry, that was terrible. I, I gotta work on my fucking Korean yeah, accent, man. Korean. That shit was terrible. But listen, let's say get the fuck out. But do we want to be compared to the worst dictatorship currently in the world? Well, of course, wait, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I don't mind the restrictions on the United States, because be honest, right? Why don't we put up these restrictions? One is protecting the people, right? It's yeah. protecting our assets. Protecting them from what? Think, think about it, think about it, think about it. All those people are coming across the border. All those people are coming across the border. You think that money's coming back into our economy? No, no. it's not. That's just going right back to blue steps. But, but then again, if you think about it, it's the people who cross the border who help. The fucking economy because they'll do shit that we don't want to do. Whoa, As an American, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm sorry, I'm a little, I, I'm a little America, sick. I got Everybody a thinks their fucking shit don't stink. Exactly. That's the problem. I'm fucking from here. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna be in the corner selling no uh, fruit, raspberries, some juice, nothing. I'm I don't sorry. give a listen, that's I'm a sorry. hustle. But they will. I don't give a fuck. They it's a will. hustle. They do you wanna will. do you wanna fucking eat or do you wanna fucking die? Hey, I'm gonna so, eat and not listen, that way. I'm back, too, I'm too cool to do that shit. Your fucking back is against the wall. I don't know about you, but I'm picking that motherfucking grape right off the motherfucking and selling you that shit. You have to get past like 12 of them niggas to get to that fucking rate. I have no problem with that. Hey, I have no problem hey, going out to get I, it. I'm now, sorry, I'm not. Listen, they'll clean the shit out of the toilet. Fucking poor. They'll be taking care of your kids. Ain't nobody got time for that. No. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bushy. I'm a fucking American. I don't States. have to do that. I'm sorry. You don't have to, but that's what makes to, America but great. But they do it though. And they're the ones who take the stink jobs, the dirty jobs, because Americans, again, we don't want to do it. You know why? Wait a minute. You know why they don't want to do it? We don't want to do it. Because they feel they don't get paid enough to do it. But here's someone going no, into it's a, a bad job. Hear me out. Hear me out. Here's someone that's going into a corporate situation in a corporate company, Fortune 500 company, mm-hmm. getting paid minimum wage. Mm-hmm. They get fucking shitted on by other people. So what the fuck is the difference? I'm so why saying. why are you blaming the the immigrants then? It's not their fault that, that it's listen. not their fault that, that there are people that are willing to pay them two dollars an hour. I'm than only that. I'm like, listen, shame per, on the fucking, fucking person that gives her two dollars a fucking hour. Exactly. No, that's, that's 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 fucking wrong. That's not the way Americans supposed to be. No. However, how slavery, fucking slavery, I'm only slavery, yeah, slavery, that's that's modernized slavery, of course. Slavery. But I'm only saying this, man. Fucking help our economy. Fuck taking your money back across the fucking wherever the hell you came from to boost yours. Uh-huh. This is where the problem is now. It's not a big fix. Eli, it's not Eli. a big fix. But it's it's a fix that can help boost our economy. Maybe we won't look to other things Wait, as far as let, let me, let me ask raising taxes Eli. on Eli. us in order to feed them. Let, let me ask you something. Here. Yeah, go. Um, these, these, these guys out there in the field that are doing all the work that I don't want to do personally because I'm a lazy shit. I'll do anything. I'm saying this right now. So these guys, these guys, these guys out in the field, they're they're not paying their taxes. How much a year do you think that is in taxes, in tax revenue? I'll tell you this. I don't know the number. But I will tell you this. Give, give, uh, give, me, give, me, give, me, give me give me a number. I'll, I'll if, tell you something different. If, if making... I'll tell you something different. I'll tell you something different. I don't know exactly in taxes, but however, do you know five hundred million dollars a year goes back to a specific country from the United States? And I won't say the country because I don't want to fucking offend people. From who? From, from who? No. Is it is it from the immigrants? That's let me ask. Let me ask. Let's go. Five hundred million dollars a year goes back to fucking let, Mexico. Let me get to my point. And there's these fucking drug cartels. Are, fucking, and, 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 it's just ridiculous. These people who aren't getting, pay, who aren't paying taxes, as, as as the big problem is, right? Absolutely. So let's say, I don't know. Let's say they're making fifteen thousand, twenty thousand dollars a year just to make ends, just to get by. That's that's about minimum wage right now. Correct. All right. Okay, so twenty thousand dollars. Um, compared per now person, that's, that's fine, grossing. per grossing, person, right? Gross. Grossing, not not yeah. taxes. Yeah. If they're not paying taxes, it's zero. Fine. Now, what about people, say, in Fortune 500 companies, as you say, who are, one, paying people not what they're worth at all, two, keeping their 
their money in an offshore accounts. Mm -hmm. They're not paying taxes. They're getting billions of dollars a year in in money, and they're not paying any money in tax. Listen, hear me out. Twenty thousand dollars. Let's say. Listen, hear me, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because I always say this shit. That's gonna be fucking hashtag, hashtag by the way. That's gonna be hashtag fucking hashtag 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 don't hand me that they're lowering taxes. Then, then that, the that taxes that we're paying into is paying for their welfare, paying for their Medicare. I'm you okay with that. that shit. If I gotta pay an extra two bucks a year in taxes, I'm okay. Are you okay with supporting someone okay, else that you don't know? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm not okay with that. I'm sorry. Fuck no. I'm sorry. And, and You're what, okay what supporting someone What I deal with, I bust my ass every single day. And for someone to come here who doesn't speak the language to give me their ass to then we should for focus me to on... pay for your shit? Oh, I have a problem with that. Then we should focus on getting them into the system, getting them to pay How? taxes. Illegal. How? Yeah, they're illegal. We How? focus on getting them into the culture. How? They're they're illegal because shit's so bad for them. They're not illegal because they want to be. But they're, they're illegal, illegal because here. shit is so. Ah, uh, Donald Trump. Thank you very much. I prove my goddamn point. I don't know about you, but I prove my goddamn point. I prove my point. You but you see how you see so you see you don't mind that. And I respect that. I but do you see her for that second get so passionate? Like, listen, I'm not into supporting anybody no, else's not, shit. No. I'm not either. And so only thing I'm saying is, hey, I applaud fucking Trump for this one. I'm saying you gotta remember where, this where all the tax money is coming from. From us. From us, yeah. We gotta pay that and, shit. And from And they don't gotta pay. Right, exactly, but it's not coming from people that are listen, man, they taxes, think, so you know, yeah, we can You focus know on it. it's we can focus. real. You know it's real. When we're so fucking down slums with that legalizing marijuana just to tax it. <laughs> But we can Which I don't I don't mind by the way, Trump. Get at me. Well, that all comes from the money anyway. That that's because yeah, that's Trump. because now they realize they can make money off. But when it was first banned, it wasn't because of that. It wasn't because of it was because of, of money that they were losing because of, of hemp losses. Okay. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That. Because fucking... because they were because hemp was a cheap way to make money, and it was easier for them to uh, ban it, focus on more expensive ways of making money. For them, for, uh, to get that money out of you. Listen, man, you hit me with some bullshit. I don't even know, man. I'm sorry, bro. I'm, that shit just fucked me up. That white man came out, I see. There's a lot, a lot of liquor in there right now, right? I'm proud of you. I'm fucking God, proud of you, bro. Take yeah, a yeah, shot, please. But look, my, my whole point is that we're focusing on the wrong thing. You shouldn't be focusing on the immigrants. You should be focusing on people, American citizens, American companies, I should say, that aren't paying their fair share. Because, yeah, you can look at all the individual people who aren't paying their taxes, but you should be looking at the people who are, the, the lump sums of money, the, the billions of dollars in taxes that we're losing because they're not paying it. You basically should be looking at everybody. Basically. The people, the, the big companies, the immigrants who aren't paying their taxes. Everyone who isn't paying their taxes needs to pay their taxes. You know what I'm saying? Agreed. So oh, I, I agree we with can't that. be like, oh, oh the yeah. companies, oh. But I, I think that's one of the major problems. It is one of the major problems. Because of the, they have all the money. Because of the administration, they're given a lot more leverage than they would otherwise have. Right. Because of corrupt like senators and politicians who are taking money to allow these these policies to get put into place to begin with. Mm -hmm. Look, everything's fucking corrupt. That's that's the Should sad, we accept it as it is, or should we, we fight? We shouldn't. It? But really, realistically, are we going to really get someone who's going to really be? Who's not gonna want to line their pockets and keep their money? Well, we had the chance, but you know, the DNC saw to that. Exactly. So, I mean, really, are we really gonna get someone for the people? Really? You know what I mean? There's well, we always need gonna to be fight some, for that. some shape. We like Hillary, I, unfortunately, I didn't really care for her, but she was, as you said, the lesser. I wanted Bernie. Okay. I was. That's what I wanted. 100%. But Hillary was the lesser of two evils in my book. So I went for her. Yeah. No one. I see you step up in. Hillary Clinton was a fucking piece of shit. Just like Ex they both pieces of shit, oh, yeah. but she was a piece of shit I was willing to vote for. Uh, uh, yeah. Unfortunately. And no, I didn't vote for her because she was a woman. Because a, a, a lot asshole. of people fucking you know, vote for her. No, he could grab my pussy for free. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he could go Wait, you take that back? What'd you say? I said he could grab my pussy for free. Nigga, put some money in that shit. You gonna grab it. I dig it. So I got another thing, man. Also, the fucking person that you have, the Secretary of Education, right? What do you guys do? I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but I, I just need something quick on how you guys feel. And I know Keith was real passionate about it, but 
about this with everyone. So I just want to pass this to you, man. How do you feel about this? This type of thing? Well, let me tell you. When I was I was watching the vote live, and I like just slumped back in my seat when I saw that uh, our our vice president Mike Pence cast the final vote to put her in place. Fifty-one fifty. And allowed her in. Our vice president. Now she is entirely unqualified. She has no experience in the educational field other than promoting uh, schools that are not public schools. She's, and she's in favor of charter schools. Right. Right. And the charter schools in the state that she uh, all promotes for are doing worse than public schools. Now, I'm a child of public school education. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I do okay. And I had I had a lot of uh, I had a lot of culture brought into me because of public school. Uh, and I, I think that her policies are not going to be in favor of the people. It's not going to be a matter of... What does oh, that mean, you had a lot of culture? I met a lot of people uh, of different backgrounds, and I was able to learn a lot about the world just from the people that I know. I respect that. I respect that. Let me take this back just a little bit. We're all, on, we're all going, we're going left. Hold up. Let me bring this back a little bit to right. Now, as far as the Secretary of Education, right? Here's what I'm saying, which it might be a good thing. Again, I don't know. Uh, it's all up in the air. I can tell you right now it's not. Hear me out. Charter schools, right? What she wants to do is create charter schools that way and not have public schools. However, she's going to give parents grants to go to the school of their choice. So let's say, for example, you know how difficult it was to go into charter schools? What she's doing now is saying, here's a grant to pick whatever school you want. Whatever school that you want to go to, you can pass the school. We're going to pay for that. Oh, that's great. That's what she's doing. That, that's fantastic. But, but she's getting rid of special education. There won't be any special education anymore. There won't be any type of uh, programs or anything that helps that helps kids with speech, reading. There won't be any of that That's anymore. bad. Because it's charter schools that are supposed to fix the issue, quote, unquote. And it's great for us in New York City where if I make a wrong turn, I'm going to find a school of some type, public or charter. But you got to look at rural America where if you have a charter school, you're looking at what well, Rural America, which is the majority of America, by the way, if you have to go to a charter school, you yeah. might have to travel a hundred miles to get to this school. What happens in that case with that children? Nah, man, we're gonna do this podcast every fucking two weeks until some sponsors start to crawl in and some views. We need it all. One every week, holler at me. One every day, holler at me. We gotta get our fucking views up, all right? So check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. We're everything. all over the place. We are pouring uh, ourselves out. You see, Mr. Are you yep. sure? We are pouring ourselves out for this money. Subscribe to okay. us on uh, iTunes and Podbean and everything else you're gonna be on. Just come check us out. We're uh, we're gonna be having a good time for the next couple weeks. Now, do you know Going who forward. I gave all the electronic shit to to get posted? This guy right here. The white man's gonna do something. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. White people can't read. <laughs> <laughs> what? So black people can't read. <laughs> what? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm a slave. But listen, but listen <laughs> first, <laughs> ever, first, <laughs> first ever You People podcast, man. Thank you everybody for coming out. Let the John on the cameras, man. I hope he'll be back with us again. I hope he enjoys this content. And uh, hopefully he'll come back out with us again. Shout out to Mizza, man. Shout out to Al Doogie. Man, thank you for hooking me up with this guy, too, man. I always got to praise John, uh, uh, Mr. Doogie, man. It's the manager. So I got to give him a shout out as usual. And uh, shout out to everyone else that is also going to be part of this. But thank everybody out. You people. Hey, what, what is wrong with all of you people? What is wrong? You people. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no.